Ow, he mucked up again, got caught in the fray, one game go away, ow, NBA, how could you have sent him away? Actions, over the top. Conduct, detrimental. Repeat offender. Who are we talking about? Okay, enough about me. The words that executive NBA Vice President Joe Dumars used today, I think he's also the double secret, make that triple secret probation officer, to describe Draymond Green's actions this in game two of the playoff game on Monday, which has resulted in the one game suspension. 164 technicals, 17 ejections, and now four suspensions. What's the problem? Is that over the top? Is that repeat offender, Joe? Really? <laughs> Draymond, we hardly know ya. I get it. Nothing for DeMontis Sabotis, the guy who was in that fray? I don't know about you, but if you're playing high-level basketball and someone grabs your ankle, you can really get hurt. Right? Sabotis had just taken down Clay Thompson. I'm not the only guy agree who, who say that, yes, it was a little over the top, and yes, if it was a regular season game, okay, because it doesn't mean anything. But at some point, these guys in charge have to determine what kind of game are we talking. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Slippery slope there, Art. Why should one game be any different than a, are you kidding me it's the same reason you don't call pass interference on the last drive of a Super Bowl it's the same reason why you don't call a ticky-tack foul in an NCAA tournament game which can determine the outcome and it's the same reason you don't suspend JMO Draymond in this instance when the dubs are playing for their playoff lives Thursday night back at the Chase Center that's why. You want to suspend them? I'm all for it. Do it in a regular season. Yeah, but then it won't mean anything. So fucking what? Give them this fine. Can't do it for game three. Well, what if they were up two games tonight? I'd probably feel a little better about it. <laughs> Remember what happened to Draymond back in 16? Uh, playoff game? And I think that was a lot harsh. Err. Because that one was kind of unprovoked, uh, unprovoked when uh, he kicked LeBron in the balls. Ooh, ooh, still hurts when I think about it. Um, say what you want about stomping on a guy's chest as he did to Sabonis. You fuck with a guy's jewels? Oh my gosh. You crossed the line there, Draymond. But that's just my point about this whole thing. So, Draymond is the victim of his own, shall I say, irritable success. He's like that piece of equipment that used to be in every washing machine. The agitator. I hate that agitator. I couldn't wait for our washing machine to break so I could get one without one. Now we use the impeller. Doesn't take up as much room. Easier to get around. That's how Draymond is. Really? He pisses off that other team. He's made a career of this. He's, he's Tony Montana in Scarface. Everybody need a bad guy. He's that bad guy. I think he relishes the role. And the dubs put up with it because He's helped them win four rings, and everybody knows that. How else could a guy last going on his 12th season in the NBA, not even averaging nine points a game or eight rebounds, 
How can he last? How can he make 155 million plus in salary and become a worldwide name? This is how he does it. And anybody who likes basketball and is more than a casual observer will admit, especially Dub Nation, we love Draymond. Granted, this is how he survived. He picked a bad time to get in the fray. Especially when the teacher, the instructor, the custodian is in the building. What Adam Silver? <laughs> ah! Ah! Turn this around. If it wasn't Draymond Green doing the deed, would there have been a suspension? Probably not. Sabonis played dirty all game. They call him for technical. Hopefully he'll be okay to play on Thursday. Probably not. We'll make it even further of a comparison. Let's say somebody on Sacramento grabbed Steph's ankle. Oh, Steph's had a problem with ankles his entire career. But even more importantly than that, that's box office right there. This is not the time. This is just... JMO. They got to go without him. I don't know what they're going to do. You, you give the young guys, Kaminga and Moody, more minutes. DiVincenzo, you slide Wiggins. Jordan Poole, who never saw defense he'd play. You know what's the bad part about this? It's all we're talking about is Draymond. This takes away from what this Sacramento squad has done so far. Hey, they were number three seed. This team didn't make the playoffs since 06. What a story. They have just finished writing their thank you cards to Kentucky coach Sean Calipari, who's delivered practically the entire NBA farm system, as well as three key guys on these Kings, Lyles and Monk. And the Aaron Fox, maybe they're just better. We know they're younger. We know they're quicker. Fox has got one speed, and it's at 90 miles an hour. He's unbelievable. Give it up to the Kings. It's quite the story. The Dubs are now 11 and 33 on the road. 33 and 8 where they're going to be Thursday night. This is doable. I'm not rooting against Sacramento. I love what they've done. And Mike Brown, who was the Warrior defensive assistant last year, he knows his team that he's taking on right now. You got to come up with something, Coach Kerr. Mm hmm. Andrew, make a three. Start making threes. Start doing what you made your bones off all these years, Dubs. It's doable. Rocking and rolling in San Fran Thursday night. Wow, Draymond, Draymond, just stay the fuck out of trouble. That's it. We'll talk to you right back here next time, only on The Walk.